Matthias Grunewald was a German Renaissance painter born in 1480. He is known for his religious works and is considered one of the key figures in continuing the late medieval Central European art style into the 16th century. His first name is sometimes given as Mathis, and his surname as Gotthard or Niethard. Grunewald's artistic style diverged from the Renaissance classicism and instead embraced the late medieval art style. His paintings were predominantly religious in nature, with only 10 surviving paintings and 35 drawings remaining today. Unfortunately, many other artworks were lost at sea while being transported to Sweden as war booty. It wasn't until the late 19th century that Grunewald's paintings were properly attributed to him, as they were previously misattributed to Albrecht Dürer, who had a contrasting style. Among Grunewald's notable works, the Eisenheim altarpiece stands out as his largest and most famous creation. This altarpiece was created between 1512 and 1516 and is a significant example of his religious artwork. Joseph Marie Wien's life and artistic achievements Joseph Marie Wien, a renowned French painter, started his artistic journey at a young age under the guidance of Nato Iyer in the studio of Comte de Calais. In 1745, he achieved great success by winning the Grand Prix. Inspired by the masterpieces he encountered during his time in Rome, Wien honed his skills and developed his own unique style. However, upon his return to Paris, his unconventional approach to art caused him to face challenges in gaining recognition. Despite the initial resistance, Wien's talent shone through, and he eventually gained entry into the Academy, thanks to the support of François Boucher, who was angered by Wien's painting Deadless and Icarus. This particular artwork can now be admired in the Louvre Museum. Wien's ability to capture nature and his distinctive style set him apart from his contemporaries. Wien's years of accomplishments and setbacks Wien reached the pinnacle of his career when he was appointed as the director of the School of France in Rome. However, he made a controversial decision by refusing to mentor Jacques-Louis David, as he believed David was too old to be guided by him. After spending five fruitful years in Rome, Wien returned to France, only to face the tumultuous French Revolution, which marked a turning point in his life. The revolution brought about ruin for Wien, both personally and professionally. Despite the challenges posed by this turbulent period, Wien continued to create art, showcasing his resilience and determination. Legacy and influence Wien's artistic career extended into his later years, and even at the age of 80, he won a government competition in 1796. His talent was recognized by none other than Napoleon Bonaparte, who appointed him as a senator. Wien's contributions as an artist and teacher had a profound impact on the art world. He influenced a generation of talented individuals, including François-André Vincent, Jean-Antoine Theodore Girist, Jean-Baptiste Regnault, Joseph Benoit Suvi, Jean-Pierre saint ours François-Guillaume Menagier, Jean-Joseph Taylorson, and his own son, Marie-Joseph, who also achieved distinction as a painter. Wien's artistic legacy lives on, leaving an indelible mark on the history of art. In conclusion, Matthias Grunewald, a German Renaissance painter, made significant contributions to the art world with his unique artistic style and religious works. Diverging from the Renaissance classicism, Grunewald embraced the late medieval art style, leaving a lasting impact on the continuation of this art style into the 16th century. Despite the loss of many of his artworks, his surviving works showcase his skill and devotion to religious themes. Notably, the Eisenheim altarpiece stands as his most famous creation. Grunewald's artistry, rooted in the late medieval tradition, distinguishes him as a key figure in German Renaissance art.